Okay, I have to do a rundown again uh, for the Fuji users. Um, I was holding out on a few lenses. I was holding out on testing uh, all the uh, Fuji uh, current zoom lenses, telephoto, and that had been done. And then I had tested everything other than uh, the 90 millimeter and uh, the uh, 16 uh, millimeter uh, wide prime. And as uh, fate and uh, Murphy's law would dictate, uh, whatever it is you're looking for, that would be the best lens is always hidden underneath the last rock. And that is where it was hidden. Uh, it was the 16 millimeter. Right here, with clutch manual focus, f1.4. Absolutely, I think uh, that's a subjective opinion. Obviously, it depends on what you're going to be shooting. You know, if uh, someone's uh, shooting, uh, you know, a street or whatnot, the 16 is certainly perfectly fine. But the 10 to 24 is a better choice. But overall, regardless of what someone shoots, I can really state that, uh, as I stated in a prior video, that. Uh, Neither Nikon or Canon or Zeiss has ever rolled out anything like this. Um, this sort of uh, incredible sharpness, and uh, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, the fact that uh, it can be used in a pseudo macro, I mean, it's not a true macro lens, but you know, you can really get right up in there. Um, incredibly sharp, absolutely amazing. So, I have now tested every Fujinon lens for the Fuji X mount system. And uh, these are those seven lenses, four primes and uh, uh, three zooms. Um, kind of odd that it worked out that way. Not surprisingly, the two best lenses, like I said I have tested them all now, but of the, uh, the uh, seven that I settled on, the two best are the ones that just rolled out, and that should tell you something about what Fuji's doing. Of course, Fuji's been working on glass for a long time, but... Uh, They've really done some magic, and I also showed you in a prior video with the new firmware F, uh, firmware uh, version 4.2.0, you can uh, shoot and uh, burst flash on the Fuji X-T1, and that is incredibly important for news photographers, photojournalists, and uh, paparazzis. <laughs> um, I showed you the demonstration in that video, that's incredible, that's obviously not directly relevant to lenses, but... Yeah, the two lenses that uh, came out this year are really Fuji's best lenses. I mean, autofocus speed, sharpness, and, you know, a lot of people don't like uh, the ergos or the geometry of this 35mm f2. You know, I can understand that. It's kind of stubby, kind of makes your Fuji look like a Leica. But, I mean, ultimately, do you give a damn about that? Um, this is sharper, faster, better than the, uh, than the faster 35mm uh, that's uh, been out there now for uh, quite some time that is really kind of lackluster. This definitely supersedes the old 35 millimeter. Um, obviously the incredibly fast and the incredibly expensive, and these lenses are on sale for another five days, is the uh, 56 millimeter f1.2. Uh, equivalent, roughly, of, of course, the 85 millimeter for portraiture. Um, this is a must-have lens. And the 27 millimeter pancake, um, I absolutely love the hell out of this lens uh, for many, many reasons. It's sharp as hell. I mean, it is really a stupid person that thinks a 2.8 is not a fast lens. I mean, that's really ridiculous. I mean, I'm happy buying really, really good F4 lenses all day long. Um, that sort of absurdity, uh, it doesn't escape me, but I find it rather pathetic. Um, this pancake lens is absolutely incredible. The fact that you can store this underneath your jacket. As weather's getting cold here, I can store it underneath this. And, uh, you know, bebop around all day long with that the tiny, tiny little pancake 27mm on there. It really is a must-have. Not because it's a tiny little thin uh, pancake, but it's an incredible, incredible little street lens. And, uh, you know, you never put another uh, body cap on uh, the Fuji uh, X-T10 or X-T1 again. Um, and it's pretty damn cheap. It's $270 um, gray market off of uh, eBay out of uh, Japan. So that covers the four primes. Now, what are the two best primes? Uh, believe it or not, yeah, people think it would be the 56mm f1.2. It's not, at least not to me. I mean, the 16mm obviously being a totally different focal, not a portraiture lens, obviously. Um, what this lens is and how it stands is shining out above uh, all uh, other lenses, be it Fuji, Nikon, or Canon, is rather, rather astounding. And uh, this is uh, top five epic lenses out of well over 2,000 lenses that I've had passed in my hands over the past 25 years. 
really, really damn astounding. Um, this is another leap, and uh, Fuji did it, not Zeiss, not Canon, and not Nikon. And I, I don't mean that in a in a loose sense. I mean, I I mean, I really do mean that. Um, moving up next, I tested all the uh, tellies, the 55 to 200, 35, uh, 4, 8. Um, I found it to be the best. Um, did not need that huge honking $1,500 beast. Um, uh, actually, not only did I find, but so many others have found uh, that uh, it's not all that fast and it's not that great of a lens for $1,500. And I agree, and uh, that thing hanging off the front of the Fuji is uh, really rather ridiculous. Um, if I want that, then, uh, you know, I'll pick up my Nikon. I'm, I did not, you know, not to, you know, I'm messing around with the Fuji system to have a, uh, a long tele uh, f2.8 lens. I mean, that is what my D810 and a 70-200 to 200 2.8 uh, Tamron are for. That's no slant against Fuji, but this platform is really not designed for that. It's like having an awesome Volkswagen or something and saying you're going to put a trailer hitch on the back of it and start hauling, uh, you know, uh, start hauling, uh, you know, the, what are those RV thingies, those giant bombastic pieces that people haul. So it's a 55 to 200, uh, rubberized right here on the zoom. And uh, the 1855 kit lens that comes with the Fuji X-T1. A lot of kit lenses by various camera manufacturers are pretty. Some of them are really good, like the 80, uh, 24 to 85 the RG Nikkor, which was a Nikon D610. Nikon D610 was a bummer of a camera, but its kit lens was absolutely incredible, the 24-85 VRG, so there are a few exceptions, but this lens is absolutely very damn good. I mean, the 1855 2.8 f4 is also a really fast lens. Um, it's not built like a kit lens from other manufacturers. All kit lenses are usually typified by cheaper, faster build construction, because they've got to spit them out as kit lenses. And uh, this does not itself uh, distinguish itself uh, quality-wise in any lesser degree than the rest of uh, Fujinon's uh, lenses for the Fuji X-Mount system. And as I've stated a thousand times before, um, the second most uh, useful lens on Earth is a wide zoom, really regardless of uh, what sort of photography you are, what you want to shoot. And uh, the 10-24 um, Fujinon, which is a fast lens, it's an f4, is uh, indispensably useful. And uh, these are the uh, seven lenses after testing all Fuji lenses that I went with for many, many reasons. And, uh, you know, since this is looking at, uh, I don't know, uh, $5,000 of the glass just right here, I mean, I make sure it's the right choice. I mean, some people think this is a lot of Fuji lenses, since I said I wasn't going to be getting a lot of Fuji lenses, since I'm using adapted Nikkors and uh, Voigtlanders on the Fuji with a Metabones adapter. Seven lenses, to me, is not that many, so maybe my definition of uh, many lenses and your definition is certainly different. Uh, certainly, that's probably the case. Also, again, uh, rubber uh, knurling on uh, the zoom ring. Um, so, those are the seven that I went with after uh, extensive consideration and having tested every lens. So, there's a lot of people buy, you know, a Fuji lens and they don't realize the perspective of where they're coming from. It's like, well, this would have been a better choice, or maybe this lens isn't so hot. Um, um, Fuji's losers are certainly so, the 18mm and the new losers, the 35mm, not this one, but the, uh, the prior 35mm Fujinon. And um, the 14 is good, but it's not impressive, but the 16, I thought the 16 would be somewhere between the 14, which is good, but not great, and the 18, which is a dog loser. But the 16 is not that at all, and like I said, it was the last rock that I looked under, literally. And like I say, here you can see the... Uh, clutch that is to be engaged for manual focus. Now that is of course by wire, it is not mechanical uh, manual focus on the Fujinon lenses, so it's by wire uh, manual focus. Um, you know, the last, the last lens was the best lens, and uh, that mistake is on me. Um, I only assumed something based upon other parameters, but I should have known better, but at least I admit my mistake on that. And, uh, Purchased it. Not a cheap lens right now. It's on sale for $800. Will be $1,000 again here in a few days. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope I could be helpful. If you like this video, you can tell me to jump off a clip or drop a buck or two. Whatever makes you happy. I really, really do just want to be helpful. Thank you so much. Bye.